Okay, it's the fourth annual Save the Giants celebration here in East Moreland, East Moreland neighborhood in Southeast Portland. And it's Saturday, June 22nd, and things are going on. Here we go. Wow, so it's like some pretty nice picking there. My name's Arthur Bradford and uh, I'm one of the people that has worked on this Save the Giants project since the beginning. Um, what questions do you have for me? Tell us a little bit about the background and how this all came about. Okay, so these trees that you see here, uh, they were going to be cut down four years ago. Uh, a developer named Vic Remmers uh, bought the property and he got permits to cut, cut them down. And uh, the community was just so upset about it, they, they, uh, they tried to uh, get, get him to sell the property back. Um, but uh, he wouldn't do that, so uh, instead he sent in tree cutters to cut the trees down. And there were men with chainsaws and ropes in the trees. And people came from all over the neighborhood to stand underneath the trees and prevent that from happening. Uh, and that started a, a week-long standoff. Uh, there was a guy named Lorax Dave who camped out 80 feet up in those trees for four nights. And the police came and tried to get him out of the trees, and people were camped out underneath here. And, it was general chaos. Uh, all the news teams in town were here and uh, protesters from all over. And the, finally the mayor called the developer downtown and said, you've got to work something out and sell this property. And so uh, he lowered his price and uh, we bought the land. Um, and uh, we've spent the past four years trying to raise the money to actually pay for the land because uh, we had to take out loans to do that. And today, is a really special day and it's a celebration because we are just a few thousand dollars short of paying off the property in full and I think we'll have done it by the end of today. So we're, I'm super happy about that. I see people who were here four years ago uh, when we didn't know if these trees were going to survive. When we thought maybe these trees were going to be cut down, uh, a lot of people who are standing here now came to stand underneath these trees and uh, they, were, they, they were told they would be arrested if they didn't leave these trees and nobody left, they stayed. Uh, in fact, there was a guy named Lorax Dave who slept high up in, these, in the branches for four nights and said he wouldn't come down until the trees were saved. And this stage that the, that the Portland Radio Ponies are playing on, that is where Dave, Lorax Dave slept in the, on this platform, but it was tied up in the tree uh, 80 feet above. Um, when back then, when the developer finally agreed to sell the property back to the community, we didn't know if it was going to be possible to actually raise the money. It was a big leap of faith that a group of us took, and a lot of that group is here. Um, and and uh, we weren't sure if we could raise that money. And, and we're really grateful to all of you because today is a really special day. We believe that at the end of today, we will have raised enough money to fully pay off this property. Which is a huge step. And uh, so, I, I, by last tally, we were about $2,000 short. We have a matching donation, meaning that every, donate, every dollar that you give is doubled here. So uh, we're getting really close. If, if, uh, if you buy a raffle ticket, if you buy a pint glass, if you buy a piece of pie, if you get some barbecue, which will be served shortly, uh, and you give a donation, it goes towards paying for this property and keeping these trees available to everybody forever. Giant sequoia trees can live to be thousands of years old. These trees, we guess, are about 130 years old. 
So uh, it's really special. If you can think of generations from now, people will come and see these trees and be grateful to people like you who made the effort to save them. Um, we want to thank uh, the people that have supported uh, this project, and uh, especially the businesses like Gigantic Brewery, Mary's Bakery, uh, the guys at Moreland Glassware who made uh, the pint glasses, uh, and, uh, and Aramis, who's working so hard to cook that pig. He, uh, that, that pig, by the way, is from a local farm. Uh, even if, if you're a vegetarian, uh, just keep in mind, if you're going to eat meat, uh, this is probably the way to do it. Uh, it's, it, it is very local, and it, it was raised humanely, so um, it's, it's good meat. Um, we have a porta potty. <laughs> uh, we have a porta potty back there that uh, is available to use through the generosity of our neighbors, and um, we hope you will stick around uh, and enjoy uh, these beautiful trees. Thank you very much. Hey, uh, how about a hand for Arthur too for putting this out here? Yeah. I've been doing this. I guess this is our third. This is our third. Uh, yeah. Save the giants. Um, right. As a group, it's always a different group of guys. The Portland Radio Ponies is a, is a collective of musicians. We all play bluegrass music. And uh, we've had a radio show in the past, and we still have a radio show on uh, Oregon Bluegrass Association radio station. Um, but we are very, very happy to be here. And I know that he puts a lot of work into this thing. I get a text about once every six months that says, hey, you're going to do it again. Yeah. So <laughs> I know that he does more than that. But um, thanks for having us. We, we are very, very happy to be here. This is, uh, I've watched a lot of trees. I grew up in Portland, and so I've watched a lot of trees go down. And I've been an arborist, and I've been a part of a lot of those trees going down. And so doing something like this to save these, these trees is, is awesome, to make it a part of and so being here for that long and seeing that much change, you all know how that goes. And so doing anything like this is, is a pretty big undertaking. And so kudos to you. Thank you. Hi, Arthur. Good job, buddy. Ooh, nice hat. Yeah, thanks. I like yours, too. This was Oh, 
Oh, oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> One more. Oh. Here we go. So close. Good one. They're chopping the. Uh, now let's see how the pigs are. Oh, yeah, that's the way we did. Uh, they got the pigs. We did the pigs. Two other people. So two out of play magic. One person shot magic. Ooh, looking good. Looking great. I wouldn't say that out loud. They're going to fix you up. No, they're going to fix you Thank <laughs> you.